So boys and girls, my name is Thomas with GameZone and today we're going to be checking out War of the Roses. I'd like to thank Veronica from Paradox Interactive for allowing me to showcase this game. Let's go ahead and jump into a multiplayer game and we're going to do a Think Conquest. So let's go ahead and join a game. So now that we've entered the game, we can go ahead and choose a profile. It can either be a footman, crossbowman, longbowman or foot knight. Now the crossbowman features an active reload which I want to show you. We're going to go ahead and join squad 2 and we're going to spawn on my squad leader. That's what all the squads are all about basically. Now as you can see, I'm trying to reload and I missed it there, is you click and you can wind up quicker. So if you can hit quickly, you can reload faster than if you were to wait. Now you can't sprint within this game, but after you run for a little while, you get like a little jog coming on. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try and snipe someone. Wild Bill looks like he wants to be killed. Let's see if we can go shoot him in the back like proper rogue style. Now when you're aiming, if you hold down shift, you will actually hold your breath which is very useful for those long distance shots and you can zoom but very very slightly and it requires you to take a perk now what our perks are is of course it's all to do with the leveling system for kills executions and winning and capturing points you will earn money and experience and with this experience and gold you will obviously level up and upon leveling up you will have access to better gear and different variants of different weapons and I'm a terrible fucking shot with this weapon, so don't don't leave a comment and say, Oh my god, he sucks. I normally play like a normal foot soldier, but there we go, I got a headshot. As you see, it was insta-kill. Shooting someone in the head with a crossbow most definitely should kill someone in one hit. Let's see if this dude's going to line up a shot. Let's see if we can get like a... There we go, we hit him, and we knocked him out. So I was, pr I was pretty good. You see, I'm not so bad at shooting with a crossbow. I'm pretty bad, though. So... When, when you've leveled up, you can obviously buy better weapons. Not not always better, but there's all sorts of great things. You can have two-handed swords, one-handed swords, and upon purchasing a weapon, you can choose the fighting style in addition to the grind for the actual blade. And if you're using a ranged weapon, you can change which type of arrow you're using, whether you want armor piercing or arrows designed to make the user bleed. Alright, we're going to go in close combat with this dude because he's being a troll. Now the longbow man, the reason he's different is because he can actually fire faster. Oh, wow, he shot me over my shield. Now he's pretty good, he's had some practice obviously. Now I'm currently in like kind of like bleed out mode. And I'm going to like surrender, which is like, oh, mercy, mercy, I give up, I give up. And we're going to go ahead and be standard foot knight. And we're still going to spawn on my squad because that's how you can be in the action straight away basically. So he's kind of like in combat, so we're waiting for him to get out of some sort of combat. There we go. Now, I've got heavy armor, and if I press V, I can actually put my visor down, which protects me from headshots and all sorts of nasty things like that. I have my standard long long sword, but I also have my big old pole axe. Now, I'm going to show you on some people. They don't know that I'm going to do it, but I'm going to hit them. Now, left click is your standard attack, but you can choose in which angle you wish to fight. Now if you left click right, I swing to the right. If I left click down, I do a stab, up, I do a downward slash, and to left I do a normal slash. While being a normal soldier, you can do that dash, and the cooldown is displayed in the middle. You see, now we're going to execute him, and we're going to stab him in the head, I think a bit too many times, and then in the ear too. And when you execute, you actually get a bonus. So if you manage to finish your kills and execute, you will get more. I managed to kill that dude, and we're going to stab him in the head. Now there are different animations for all of the executions. So if I use a sword, and we're going to try and finish off this dude, he may be slightly too hard for me because he's got a sword and a shield. Now the foot knight is not the weakest of them all. Don't think like, oh my god, like you got a big old stabby pole arm. You can be badass, but trust me. But this dude seems to be backpedaling, so he's like. Taking it easy. Now if I do the animation for the sword. Oh, and a twist. Pretty lush. This game is really great for this. Now I am bleeding. And what bleeding basically says is. You have a few seconds until you bleed out. And if you bleed out you will go unconscious. As I will in a minute. And I can be res. Someone can come over and save me. Or of course. I can be executed. Just like that. Now I'm going to show you some gameplay. From the longbow man. I want to get a good variance in here. So we're going to go ahead and be a longbow man. Now on, on the left right hand side you can actually see I've got a longbow, archer's hanger and all of these perks. Now let's talk about a bit about perks. 
what perk size? If basically, if you think about Call of Duty, you have your different tiers. You've got your blue, you got your red, and all of that. And it's very similar to that, in the sense that, basically, sorry guys, I'm gonna headshot this dude, and he didn't die. Probably because I didn't have my my bow drawn all the way. Now this dude is trying to be badass, and we're gonna ruin it. Now, what perks are basically for? is so if you choose the the movement perk you will have access to two additional as you can see on along the line say archer it's long bowman and strong of strong of arm which means he can draw his bow quicker now what the purpose of the perks are is to try and create a uniqueness between all the classes because you can have you can have like say b you can have the defensive tier and within the defensive tier you can choose that you ignore damage which means you will never actually get bleeding but you can't actually heal or you can bandage quicker now as you can see I've got a bit of blood on my screen if I hold down B I will actually begin to bandage myself but there is an archer shooting me so he won't let me bandage so I'm gonna try and get some LOS from him oh he's over there there we go and I've got a big old two-handed axe I absolutely love this weapon if I get the execution it's like this disgusting now the reason I love the axe is because players aren't used to it and you can really overpower them I mean look at this dude he just doesn't stand a chance there we go that's theoretically a double kill if you count the execution now you think okay what level do you have to be for me to get myself a badass axe well it's actually not very high it's only level 11 believe it or not now there is mounted combat and sadly I can't show you because Sadly, the horse costs like a million gold. I don't know why. The price has gone up since the beta, and it's like a million gold. But how horse combat basically works is sadly no one's got it on this server, but how horse combat works is just like this. Now, I did repeat myself because I was getting confused. Combat on the horse works basically is if you play Mountain Blades, you don't hold down like the movement key. You select a speed you want, like say, three, it's like three tiers. You press W and you go forward, you press W again, you do a trot, and you press W then you gallop. Now obviously you're going to be using a lance, and if you hit someone at full speed with a lance, it will instantly kill them, but break your lance. And at one point the lance did regenerate, but they seem to have fixed that, so you just you use the lance, you can instantly kill someone, you've got your kill, you're happy. And then after that, you can either get off your horse. Your horse can be killed. It dies very easily, especially to archers. So if you're having difficult, here's a top tip. Get an archer, get a few archers, and just basically thrash them. Now, that white number indicates I'm doing damage to his shield. And after a while, his shield will break. And it does look like I'm just swinging like a madman, because I am. Because it's the best way to confuse them. Because when I keep on seeing these orange lines, that's the direction the enemy is going to swing. I better put my visor down in case they get lucky headshots. So we should be able to kill this dude and get a multi kill of two. And this dude. Now the axe isn't OP, I promise you. Some of the OP weapons, you may have heard that some of the weapons were OP, and that would have been like the, the spears or the pole arms. They've been absolutely balanced, and there's actually not really any OP weapons. It's, it's all to do with skill, and, and I'd say it's more about momentum. So I'm keeping my momentum up. I'm keeping him blocking, stopping him from attacking me. And I'm getting the odd hit in when I can. And now I just charged him so I can finish him, but I've managed to miss him because the axe isn't very long range. There's a kill streak of three for you there, guys. There you go. I'll get my chopper in a minute. For some reason, he wants to res. I don't know why he wants to res him. And he actually managed to as well. So he managed to res his friend. Let's put my visor down. Because if they get lucky, slash my face. Because it's not just... It's not just you slash, like, blam, I slash. If you, It's all to do with how high or how low you actually aim. Let's be a normal footman and show you some shield play. He also starts off with the with the visor. The dash is also very useful for getting across terrain quite quickly. Now I haven't explained to you the game modes that are available. So you have your standard conquest, which works similar to TF2 in a sense that you've got your little control points and you've got to capture them. But it's more tug of war style in the sense that the more you own, just owning them all does not make you win. You can need to own them all for a period of time, and then after that you can actually win, basically. 
Now you do get bonus if you win and you do get not a bonus if you lose. The other one, the other game mode is team deathmatch. And within team deathmatch, see I hit him in the head twice and we're doing some stabs. He should be bleeding. There we go, finished him off. Now he thinks because he's got some heavy armor he can deflect my blows but he can't. Because I've had lots of practice at this game. Too much, I think. I've enjoyed it too much. Now, a few of you who's still listening to, oh, I've played. I've got Mountain Blade Warblade, but or Warband. Is is this game as good? This game is slightly different in the sense that it's all about just proper gameplay, proper like momentum. Whereas Mountain Blade is a m bit more tactical, I'd say. But this game has. They do have. They have made the promise of keeping it fully updated for a competitive scene that they intend to have. And if you've seen some of the videos on the Paradox channel, you see that they have had tournaments already, even when the game was in beta, and they were, they were quite successful. So they have to hand it to them for that. So overall, I, I have been really enjoying my time, and as you can see, I'm pretty beast. How long was I fighting them for? Uh, basically forever. So I, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. How about we leave the battle, and I just show you a little bit of the customization that's here. And then we're just going to round up the video and I will say goodbye. On my shield and on my chest you saw a logo. You can customize it completely here. You've got all your colors. You've got all of your different like styles that you can choose here. All your different logos. And your top of the head here. Now if I go over to the profile editor. I can change my main weapon. For example I can have executioner's axe. You've got the fighting styles. The type or the tip material which adds health because if you block too much a weapon can break I forgot to mention that also you have like two-handed swords or pole arms you've got it all you've got a lot of customization and there's always room for them to add more so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and remember to bookmark game zone and basically come visit for more videos by me and great articles so I will see you guys on the next video and I hope you have a lovely day